Luffy vs Blackbeard could end up being the best rivalry in anime. Unlike other rivalries in anime, this is far from friendly with it having massively high stakes of knowing up the whole journey of what we as One Piece viewers have been waiting for Luffy to achieve, the title of Pirate King. However, this rivalry seems to go a lot deeper than just a race for a title. Luffy and Blackbeard are polar opposites who have and still are taking very different paths to get to the same destination of Laugh Tale. When it comes to antagonization, I don't think any pair do it better than Light and L, but I genuinely think Luffy and Blackbeard are hot on their tail for this title. But let's go through the rivalry and why Blackbeard potentially antagonizes Luffy better than any other antagonist in anime. And let's go through some theories of the deep rooted history behind Blackbeard versus Luffy. To speak about this properly, we have to go back to the first meeting of Luffy and Blackbeard on Jaya. In the first seconds of them encountering each other, they already oppose each other on such a minute matter, which is the taste of pie. Luffy hates it. Blackbeard loves it. And then Luffy loves the drink that they get and Blackbeard hates it. This is a great hint from Oda at the contrast to their characters and how they're polar opposites. They begin to continuously try to one-up each other with their orders and this is quite significant because this is often shown within the story. When Luffy does something, Blackbeard does something else of close to equal notoriety. For example, Luffy is the poster boy for the Marine Ford War trying to save Ace. Blackbeard comes, shocks the world with his own display. Luffy sneaks into a Yonko's territory, defeats their strongest commander, Blackbeard attacks the revolutionaries. Luffy defeats a Yonko, Blackbeard attacks a warlord and captures a sword member and his crew is now fighting Garp and Law. They are constantly rivaling each other with feats of notoriety and Oda has laid out a massive amount of contrasting elements between Luffy and Blackbeard. Let's go through some of them. First we'll go through how Blackbeard is what a pirate is thought to be ruthless, cunning and commences in cheating and pillaging versus Luffy who is extremely kind to those who he doesn't even know and makes friends very easily and isn't the type to cheat his opponents. Blackbeard seems to have no loyalties to those who look after him which is shown with how he did Whitebeard versus Luffy who is extremely loyal and becomes friends with someone over small gestures like giving him food and is still willing to do near enough anything for them like he did Otama. One massive difference that I think leads into a small theory is how Blackbeard does not sleep but Luffy loves it. Blackbeard was stated by Buggy to never sleep and this could link to his devil fruit somehow. No sleep equals no dreams. Blackbeard's devil fruit nullifies other devil fruits of which have been confirmed to be the manifestation of the will or maybe we can twist it and say the dreams of people. And Blackbeard kills slash cancels out these abilities or dreams versus Luffy who loves to sleep and devil fruit allows him to bring any of his dreams to fruition and instead of stealing the dreams of others, Joy Boy brings hope and liberation to people. Another thing is how versus Ace Blackbeard says this. Now at the time you would think this is Ace since he's got the flame flame through. But now we can clearly see this was foreshadowing from Oda with Luffy literally being the sun god. This rivalry seems all but fated even looking back at the history of the One Piece world before Luffy was even born. In the era before Luffy we all know Gold D Roger was that guy on the sea who Luffy has been compared to many times. Roger and Luffy both stated they don't wish to rule over anything and instead live freely versus Blackbeard who seems to be obsessed with making his own error. And this is similar to someone else who lived in the same times as Roger aka Rox D Zebex. It's stated that Rox D Zebex wanted to be king of the world but he got apprehended by Roger and Garp. And one interesting thing that ties into this on Blackbeard's end is how he claims this error is his. This shallow goal of Blackbeard's is very similar to Rox and I think this adds weight to the theory of Rox being a soul within Blackbeard. However, Whitebeard shut this notion down from Blackbeard very quickly telling him he's not the man Roger was waiting for and it's later revealed Joy Boy is the one Roger was waiting for who is Luffy. And unlike Blackbeard, Luffy does not care about having his own error. In fact, he's completely oblivious to the fact that this is very much his error. With only people from past eras really rivaling him and no one else in his own generation doing so, this error is Luffy's. This rivalry has been gaining a lot of traction, with Blackbeard always seeming to harm people close to Luffy, from Dragon and Sabo, Ace, Boa, etc. And with him potentially gaining equal ground to Luffy if he gets Law's Poneglyphs, things are definitely getting interesting. With Shanks also being a rival of Luffy regardless of their relationship since he has shown a clear interest in the One Piece, I find this little three way of them very cool. With Blackbeard having a crew of only devil users and Shanks having no devil fruit users but masters of hockey and Luffy being in between with a mix of both, 
these three are definitely the only crews to consider when it comes to the One Piece. But we'll have to wait and see how it ends. But yeah, Luffy and Blackbeard's rivalry already has some potentially great history behind it. I think only Light and L will really come close to this and I think they have the potential to surpass them. Do you guys think subscribe, like, all that algorithm bullshit and peace.